Hi guys, hope all is well on this Friday. It's going to be a perfect winter's weekend and I just have one thing to say. It's important to acknowledge that men have feelings too. Um, we go through the same emotional ups and downs. Uh, birth, death, wedding, birthday party, everything that women also go through. Aside from um, childbearing issues and once in a month. Auntie Flo comes to visit, but men go through the same emotions to happiness, joy, sadness, grief. <sighs> Believe it or not, we also look forward to our wedding days, um, our anniversaries. We certainly put a different kind of sentiment onto it, but uh, we look forward to it as well. Um, it does knock a bit harder when you move and have to think differently because of your disability. But there are things that sometimes happen that are a bit inappropriate. Um, you know, people seem to tell us that. Um, and the other night I was talking to a woman who shall remain nameless, who bluntly told me, if only I could put your brain in my boyfriend's body. Now, the, the difficult thing with that is you can't only love one part of a person. If you say you love them and have regard for them, then you should have regard for the whole package, um, uh, physical and mental. It's not, you can't customize a human being. Surely you have a personality type and a body type and a strength type. But if this package is triggering you, then you have to accept the whole thing. It's very hurtful and very mean to say, can't we just swap out the power plant? <laughs> I'm not a car, I'm a human being with thoughts and feelings. Sure, it takes me a bit longer to do things, but I can get to that point as well. The... point I'm trying to make is you have to get away from what is called if you want to succeed in dating somebody with a disability you have to get away from the point of stereotypical gender binaries now binaries are the sit in stone role of masculine the sit in a Stone, the role of feminine. Um, but I'm going to say this again, and I've lamented on this in previous videos if you look in the chronology. I'm going to say if you want to have a successful relationship, no matter which one of you or both of you are affected by disability, you have to allow for role reversal. You have to allow for more time. You have to allow for a different form of thinking. You have to allow. For a longer period of time in which you engage in sexual activity, in which you engage in activities around division of labor. No matter how you wish a thing away, certain things, especially when it comes to human chemistry, you can't wish your feelings away for that person. You can't go overly into parent mode to make yourself feel better. You can't deny who you are. I certainly can't. And it's inappropriate to say that if you weren't disabled, you would have been quite a player out on the scene or you would have been quite attractive on the scene. That's not fair because it's a situation beyond uh, somebody's control. It's a situation beyond my control. And I'm just sick to death of, of hearing phrases like, if you weren't disabled, you would be a dog. Anyway, guys... Um, I know this has been a bit of a downer vlog, but the message I want to leave with you guys is men have feelings too. We also get disappointed. We also get hurt. Um, we also look forward to things. That's where I'm going to leave it, guys.